Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we are doing an extra special video where we are going to be going over my top five Transformers Rescue Bots Academy One Step Toys. Like and subscribe. The little subscribe button's in the corner. Comment below and uh, let's get started. Rock Time Toys! All right, so I have a lot of these. We will start out with number five and do the countdown to my number one favorite Transformers Rescue Bots One Step Toys. So here we go. This is Bumblebee. Everybody's favorite, got a large Autobots logo on the side, two black racing stripes right down the center, really cool looking race car look. You kind of hold the hood here and then pull back on the spoiler or the tail, and then he just kind of pops open, pretty easy one step action. Another reason why he's one of my top five, other than the fact that he's Bumblebee, of course. Very, very cool looking Autobot. I like this version a lot better than the Volkswagen Beetle version, but you guys can let me know in the comment below if you like the old school or the new school look better. So you got a little battle damage from uh, opening them and closing them a little too much, I guess. Now we'll move on to number four, Grimlock, everybody's favorite Dinobot. I always thought the Dinobots were super cool. I thought Grimlock, of course, was awesome, especially this version because of what he gets ready to turn into. I'll show you in a second. There's a little muffler on the side. You got his tail, the seat, and boom, look at that. He is a motorcycle transformer. That is so cool. I've only seen Bumblebee as a motorcycle one-step toy before. I didn't pick him up, but he was really, really cool. So this is my number four. We will set him up here in dino mode. All right, number three, Optimus Prime, leader of the Optim Opt Optimus bots. The Autobots, of course. Uh, hard for me to choose him not to be my number one, but you'll see if you stick around to the end of the video why I chose the number one that I chose because it is awesome. So make sure to stick around for that. Got a big wheel in the back, small wheel in the front. I just realized another giant Autobot logo, giant semi-truck, easy transformation. So you just kind of pull open his hood here and pull it back. Pull it open, pull it back, and then it also has like a little click right in the back where the wheels are, or the bed of the truck, I should say. Got his iconic helmet. This is such an awesome looking transformer. Watching this over the years has been really, really cool and how they've kind of kept him very close to what he's looked like this whole time. So I've been very happy about that. All right, number two, Heat Wave Transformers Rescue Bot Teacher. Um, he has a really cool feature, got his little dials on the side. The thing I like, there's Chase, it was hard for me to choose between Chase and Heatwave, but I chose Heatwave just because of mainly this little ladder on the back, which I thought was kind of cool. Just an added extra little feature that kind of moves up and down. Let's open him up. You just kind of pull down on the, uh, the little cab of the truck here and out pops his head. So another easy transformation, almost like Optimus Prime. There's his little fire hat, really cool looking look. He's got his little flashlight fists. We'll set him up here. Before we get to number one, let me just kind of throw in a couple of more of these uh, Transformers one-step toys that I have. That way you can just kind of see a few of the other ones really fast. We have Whirl, which is supposed to be a helicopter from the show, but right here she's a jet. She kind of has a little tough click that opens her up into robot mode. Then we have Medics, which is almost like the Donatello, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle of uh, the Transformers Rescue Bots Academy students, which I'll leave a link in the uh, comment below as well as a card at the end that you can click on that shows all the students. So it's a really cool video. Here's Blades. Got the helicopter. This was another one of my potential top five, but I just couldn't choose him. I love that he changed like this from a helicopter into an Autobot with the blades on the back that spun. Thought that was really cool. And then here's a new one that I just picked up and that was Salvage. I got this one from the bookstore. You can find these things all over the place in unsuspecting places. You'd be surprised. All right, now let's move on to number one, the one that we've all been waiting for. This one is Predaking from a three pack that I found at Kohl's of a bunch of Dinobots. So this transformation is the coolest, my number one choice. You can kind of see a little bit of the sneak peek on the back there. He's also almost like a heat wave helmet, but there he goes. Transforms into, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll keep uh, looking at it for a second. Yep, okay, transforms into a double-headed flying dragon. 
Now, how is that not the number one? You guys can tell me what your top five would have been in the comments below. I'd be curious, but this one is mine because look at that. That is awesome. Double-headed dragon. I've never seen something like that on Transformers Rescue Bots, but it is really, really cool. Maybe I missed the episode, but awesome one-step toy with the two heads. Okay, so that'll be the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, the little box in the corner. Also comment below what you thought of these rescue bots. Also, please don't forget to give me a little thumbs up, and thanks for stopping by.